seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Why? All these things will be added to you. Matthew 6, 33. But what things? Let's look at just a little glimpse of heaven. Somebody read Revelations 4, 1 through 6. Alright, so what are some things you see in this, this uh, little passage? You see jasper, sardine, sardine, emerald, crystal, uh, sea of glass. Let's look at emerald for a little bit. A high quality, singular, pure carat of emerald is worth roughly six to, six to eight thousand dollars. How many carats are in a singular pound? Anybody want to guess? Five. Way higher than that. 2,268. Anybody want to do the math on that without the calculator? All right, 15,876,000 for one singular pound. This whole room's full of it. What else is in there? Got 24 seats with elders with crowns on them. Have lightning coming out of this throne. Have Thunder coming out of this throne, voices, seven balls of fire, which are the spirits of God, creatures round this throne. Who is this all for? So and read, what is it, 8 through 11, verses 8 through 11. Four living creatures, each having six wings, were full of eyes around and within. And they do not rest day or night, saying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. Whatever the living creatures... Whenever the living creatures give glory and honor and thanks to him who sits on the throne, who lives forever and ever, the 24 elders fall down before him who sits on the throne and worships him who lives forever and ever and cast their crowns before the throne, saying, You are worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power, for you created all things, and by you, by your will, they exist and were created. The perfect God. He's the one that... He's the only one that should deserve this, right? He made all of this. He should have the best of the best. So, if this perfect God says, I want you there, should we not follow him? Should we not listen to him? But how do we get there? Seek the kingdom of heaven and his righteousness. How, Mark 16, 16, believe and be baptized Every one of you in the name of, oh, no, that's not the right verse. So I'll read Mark 16, 16. He who believes and is baptized will be saved, but he who does not believe will be condemned. Judgment. That's the latter half of the part. He that believes not shall be condemned. But what is judgment? Can we just hide in a little bunker, wait it out as like bombs drop or something? So I'll read 2 Peter 3, 10 and 11. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief, thief in the night in which the heavens will pass away with the great noise and the elements will melt with fervent heat. Both the earth and the works that are in it will be burned up. Therefore, since all these things will be dissolved, what manner of persons ought you to be in holy conduct and godliness? No one will know what happens. But even if you were to, at this moment, go hide in your bunker for the rest of your life, eating canned dog food or something, I don't know, 
it still won't happen. If you, it still won't work because if you keep reading, it said elements will melt with the fervent heat. Everything is an element. The whole planet will dissolve. Where will that put us though? Matthew 25, 33, 34, and 41. set the sheep on his right hand but the goats on his left and the king will say and the goats on his right hand come you bless my father inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world verse 41 then he will also say to those on the left hand depart from me you curse into the everlasting fire prepared for the devil and his angels we will be judged we will be sorted and we will be sent sent where either heaven or hell but what is hell? Well, for one, God never wanted us there, Matthew 25, 41, but some will go anyhow, 25, 46. Someone read Matthew 25, or Matthew 5, 22. And I say to you that whoever is angry with his brother without a cause shall be, shall be in cause, uh, without a cause shall be in danger of the judgment. And whosoever shall say to his brother, Raka, Shall be in danger of the council, but whosoever shall say thou fool shall be in danger of hellfire. So there will be fire. Mark 9, 43 through 48. And if thy hand offend thee, cut it off. It is better for thee to enter into life main than having two hands to go into hell into the fire that shall never be quenched. The wind of fire and ashes. Then we have Mar Matthew uh, 10, 28. And the angels which kill the body, but are able to kill the soul, will rather kill him which are able to destroy both body and soul in hell. Mark 10, 28 through 29. And the angels which kill the body, but are able to kill the soul, will rather kill him which are able to destroy both body and soul in hell. Mark 10, 28 through 29. Serpents, brood of vipers, who can, how can you escape the condemnation of hell? Matthew 8, 12. You guys see any picture? But the sons of the kingdom will be cast out into the outer darkness. There will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Matthew 25, 41. Then shall we say also unto them, on the left hand, depart from me, be cursed into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. Final one, Matthew 25, 4. But the prudent ones, wait, never mind. But the wise took oil in their what was the word? with their lamps. That's the point. Okay. Lamps. Lamps. Gotta be wary. Yeah. So, that's hell. Does it sound fun? Yes. I, I can keep going. I've got way more. I'll spare you guys, though. Why would we want to go there? There's nothing good about it. So how do we avoid it and in turn get to heaven? What's the first step of salvation? Anybody? Come on. Here. You got a verse for that? Uh, what's the next one? A verse for that? Yeah. Next. 238. All right, what's the next one? Verses? Okay, yeah. These are the only way to get into heaven. But we also have to live faithfully because if you go to Revelations 12, 7 through 9 and read that, you'll find out. Revelation 12, 7 through 9? Yes. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. The dragon fought and his angels. And prevailed not, neither was their place found any more in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil, and Satan, which deceived the whole world. He was cast into the, the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation and strength, and the kingdom of our God, and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brothers is cast down, which accused 
Through nine. Okay. All right, so this angel got sinned and got kicked out of heaven. And angels are, in some senses, better than humans. They've, they've are, they're already at heaven. And they, he sinned and got kicked out. What does that mean for us? We can also sin. We could also not make it to heaven. Statistically, 80% of the average youth group falls away into sin. They've done tons of studies on this. You can look it up. Don't let that be you. I'm not saying it will be you, but others have and others will. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and God's righteousness. Don't seek other people's righteousness. Don't seek your other your righteousness. Seek God's righteousness. Thank you.